The beginning of the Dead Space franchise will turn into a five-year-old demented child this October, like Damien from the Omen movies, if you will. Another cult following to AAA title, the original Dead Space was a huge sci-fi scare, at least to most. To me, it was beyond any scary, horrific game or experience in comparison at the time. Sure, it is and was no slender, but as a full-length game, it combined the perfect blend of horror, action, and even a little bit of puzzle elements in a creepy narrative with a real humanistic undertone in such a grand story arc. To think it's already been two years since the launch of Dead Space 2. Makes you feel kind of old, huh? Was this break and long-awaited return of my favorite horror franchise worth to see A Cabin in the Woods? Or is this another game horribly morphed into the action genre? Let's get to the new stuff right away. From pointless competitive multiplayer in the second game, EA, uh, I mean Visceral Games, decided to put co-op in this iteration. I will say at first thought, like most others, was this game got less scary. Let me tell you, the horror within the story is amplified in the co-op missions, as John Carver enters the same violent dementia Isaac did last time. Be sure to prepare Isaac to be helpless and Carver to be horrified as he battles his own Nicole. We've been in this elevator for five minutes. Now, are we going to check this place out or not? Dead Space 3 also adds a few optional missions that give a little more insight on the game's story. Some of those missions, though, however, do have very similar level designs, but are still interesting to have. Real talk. Something that sure horrified the other gamers. The, the, the word of the devil! Microtransactions. What's the big deal? The people that have time to play, such as the fans, and even some of the hardcore newcomers will have no problem here. You don't need to pay to get a great advantage. I'm sorry that some people want a game to spend no time and effort in completing. Just play the damn game. Just find those glitches and exploits that EA doesn't care about while you're at it. Stop crying! I will say, though, what really aggravates me is EA forcing out these day one DLCs. Shame on them for that garbage. Now that we're done with the controversial additions of Dead Space 3, can we please get to something good? Well, we're getting there, don't worry. I got a few other things to talk about first. Resource management is what makes a horror game survival, and the previous Dead Space games did have this, with the limited slots, random unwanted item pickups, and a store system. Dead Space 3 doesn't feature credits anymore, but different resource materials that you can gather with these new scavenger bots. These new friends can sense very feasible scavenging areas. With the one plus robots you get in the game, they'll gather materials for crafting items. It's quite tedious to find the points and drop the bot and go to the crafting bunch, but it's worth it. Craftable items are everything. You can craft anything from health packs, universal ammo, and even some weapon parts. Weapon crafting was a huge deal back when it was talked about, because we could now play Dead Space the way we wanted to. You could literally build any weapon combo in this game. A carbine ripper, a SMG plasma cutter, etc. You could even add attachments that can help you and your co-op partner as well. Materials can also be used to upgrade your rig. One gripe that I have with some of the materials are sometimes when you defeat enemies and complete side missions, you obtain resource boxes, weapon attachments, and upgrades. But when you're running out of space, you can't drop those items. It really would have been neat if you could just drop your scavenger bot after you picked up the items, and then it would carry your newly found items to the bench without taking up space. Can you at least update it so we can drop them? That'd be nice. As an engineer, Isaac needs to stay in practice. The main Dead Space games always wanted you to think to figure out quasi-puzzles to get to the end. Each new game seemed to add a couple new mechanisms in the world. Dead Space 3 includes all the same, plus many more. Most of these puzzles at the beginning seem to be a little too easy and even babyish in completion. I will say that this game does have slightly annoying tutorials that seem to go away later in the game. Because I really hate when a game tells you, press this button for this, or you press this button to go forward, this button to go backwards, and like we never played a video game before. After all that hand-holding, some of the later puzzles begin to get a little cryptic, and soon you just keep trying random ideas until the light changes blue. Makes you think till you rage, I'd say. It's simple. Like bones connected. Well, you know, whatever the hell that is. This is another thing that makes me rage. There are no save stations anymore. I really enjoyed that futuristic Resident Evil kind of like typewriter, and now you have to wait an unknown amount of time until its save hits. 
It's also aggravating when the game does not tell you when the checkpoint's been reached. There were so many times when I died and assumed a checkpoint was reached, but nope! What adds to that is the difficulty. It's overall a much harder game now. It's good, I mean I wanted that, but I think I asked a bit too much. I do love these games, so it'll just be more time for me to play it. To say the least, I've always enjoyed the storyline at Dead Space. Original? Not really, but it took quite a few elements from already creepy horror stories and made it into something special. To me, this game is a horrific metaphor for all the troubles us humans and our sick natural thoughts go through, through all the bad times in life and how if we don't get past those times, we could die. Now I'm not trying to be melancholic and philosophical or anything, that's just what this game is kind of meant to me. If you're a gamer, it can really make a good experience to add to your own life, and immerse in as well. The final story in the game is fair to say the most, but it's not that bad. The story does what it can to slowly wrap up such an awesome and chaotic strung up narrative. And in Dead Space 3, how could a game as crazy as this, and as messed up as this, have an ending that's necessarily good for everyone? Once I knew the third Dead Space was coming out, I knew this was a series that our protagonist would not finish it out alive. Don't worry, I haven't completed the game yet, so I don't know what happens at the end. I got one more chapter to go. Let's see how these characters deal with this epitaph. The characters have always had a large part in the Dead Space series. Dead Space 3, if you have not guessed, is all the same, and it's actually never better. I've snooped about to find that some people refrained from calling these last characters memorable. To me, realistic is memorable, and if it's not to you, I think you should take a look in the mirror. How would you, how would you go through this scenario? Depressed, angry, and argumentative is something we see in practically every horror story. And that's what you would see in a game like this, in any type of survival horror game. It makes you feel better that you're not in that situation with a bit of extremely dark humor tacked on to give it some extra life. Just be careful. <laughs> Why? You think there's something out there that wants to eat me? That's not funny. I know. Everyone in this game I call a reluctant participant. And Isaac is one who will not stop until he dies or it's all over. We cannot forget the overzealous religious character who is ignorant beyond comparison. He on the other hand is less inspired, but the other characters make up for it. I really enjoyed these characters and remember them as the pretty decent last ones to end a great series. He's a real asshole, you know that? The first two Dead Space games always held the player in tight corridors with slight potential for a jump scare. Dead Space is also very disturbing moments that tried to make the player cringe. At so many times, moments in the original game have given me nightmares. I could not even play the game for certain extended periods of time. And after playing this, I can safely say that Dead Space 2 is just a bit scarier, but doesn't contain the amount of anticipation and intensity the current game has. It's mainly due to it losing the dimension sequences and some of the unpredictability. It could have also been the difficulty, but there's more to it. At the beginning of Dead Space 3, Isaac revisits the same cold ship corridors that gave this franchise its alien-like quality. Then following a very nicely rendered crash sequence, you wake up in a winter hell. Right out of the bag, you have low visibility, and that immediately made me think of Silent Hill. At times, Dead Space 3 still does retain that feeling of claustrophobia, and then sometimes as the feeling of kinophobia with a solid white fog wall. Seems like Visceral Games borrowed the environmental horror of the game Silent Hill and the movie The Thing and conveys them together really, really well. The setting does break into familiar corridors occasionally and some breaks few in between, but I will say it's nice to get a break from the unknown cold once in a while. But then you go inside to find what lurks in the dark. Who goes there? The first question you ask before running for your life the first time you hear the scariest creatures in video game history, the necromorphs. The design and sound of these creatures is terrifying as always, in every way imaginable, and gave me blood curling nightmares until I learned to destroy them with ease. That fear still lingers on, even in Dead Space 3. At first I saw that the necromorphs appeared less bloody and more of a dirty kind of contrast. I thought they were really toned down in the fleshiness, and therefore less scary to me. I soon realized the fact that they could pop up out of the snow from anywhere, and charged faster, changed that opinion quite fast. 
The glowing eyes still always gets me though. Regardless of how they appear to me or anyone else, they still sound more horrific than before. The feeders are new necromorphs in this game, and they might sound silly at first, but you'll feel them rip you to pieces when they find you. You will fear that noise, and they won't stop until you're dead. The music added in this game kind of sounded like a Batman and Blade Runner mix. It's good, but a little too odd. Then when that cliche epic sci-fi music starts picking up, then the game's intensity really ramps up and can knock you around. There are also many unpredictable moments when you get hit by some Shining-esque, chiller sound effects that makes it feel like this horror has been experienced before. But Dead Space 3 holds it as its own. Anyone could tell that Dead Space 3 isn't as scary as the first one, but that's to be expected. You can't beat the original. Yeah. Look, I want to get out of here. Ah. <sighs> Another trilogy has ended, and only time will tell when EA will force some more out. Until that time, Dead Space has ended, at least I think. Dead Space 3 adds some neat new gameplay features that have a fresh impact on the game. It also has taken away some familiar features that can make the game a bit aggravating from time to time. The story still grabs you to wrap it up neatly as possible with characters I could tolerate. The scare factor is a little less present than in the last game but that might be because of the intense action. This is really to be expected, but not praised in this period of gaming. Visceral Games also borrows horror elements from other stories and can still freak the hell out of people. Dead Space 3 may not live up to the already very high expectations or compete with the first title, but in terms of gameplay, it holds up just a bit higher than that of the previous game. It ends as well as it can, and you couldn't really ask for anything more. If you're a fan, you'll need it, and if you're new, just rent the game, or buy the first one for cheap. If you like horror games, but never played it, then try the demo. By the way, if you look, I may have overrated Dead Space 2 by a bit, but Dead Space 3 earns 4.5 rich eggs out of 6.